Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 20th of January, Holy Mother, the church celebrates two saints, Saint Fabian and Saint Sebastian. Let's come to know the story of Saint Fabian. Why do people go to Rome today? A maximum number of people go to Rome during the election of the Pope, when a new Pope is going to become, a new person is going to become a Pope. So people go to mourn for the Pope who has just died. They go to see so many, uh, so many bishops and cardinals come together deciding. They go to see who the new Pope would be. Who would he be? With the same thought, one Kamana named Fabian too went to Rome around the 2nd century, 2nd, 3rd century. He went for this purpose to see who the next Pope will be. He also was standing there in the crowd and suddenly a dove from nowhere comes and sits on his head. People saw this as a symbol, a sign from the Lord. And in the same way as the Holy Spirit came upon Jesus during his baptism, they saw it is the Spirit who is guiding them to make Fabian the Pope and he was made the Pope right away. As Pope Fabian helped to structureize the city of Rome and also the church. He did a lot towards the growth of the church and he died a martyr during the persecutions. He was killed him brutally. He gave his life for the love of God. Another saying that we celebrate today is Saint Sebastian. Saint Sebastian was a Roman guard. He was from southern France and he was, he is very popular, Saint Sebastian. So, he was a Roman guard. So, one day, two, two brothers, twin brothers, Marcellus and the other, both of Maxentius, both of them came and they were, they were imprisoned for their faith. The mother was trying to tell them to leave the faith, to be alive. At that time, Sebastian gets in and tells the mother, No, if they are dying for their faith, let them die, but never to leave the faith. And that's how Sebastian, as a Roman guard, in that prison where all Christians were imprisoned, used to be their, their guard, used to be their solace and comfort. And when the emperor came to know this, he wouldn't spare him because the emperor has already killed thousands of Christians. And you know how St. Sebastian was killed. He was taken to the archery place where uh, the game of archery was practiced. And he was tied to a tree and they practiced on his body. And then after his death, after long years, his mortal remains were taken and shifted to another church. And since then, this picture, this picture of St. Sebastian being tied to a tree and the arrows uh, going forth through his body is very famous. I was always thinking from my childhood what it meant today I came to know that this is how he gave his life for Christ. So dear brothers, and sisters in Christ, two beautiful examples. One is Sebastian, Saint Sebastian and Saint Fabian. Today, they are talking to us about standing as witnesses for Christ in every aspect of our life. Amen.